Hi YouTube, uh, just an update. I promised in my previous video that I will show you my three-phase solar pump. So, if you know, this is my solar panels. It's 18 of them, 245 watts. They are all connected in series. You see the sun is quite bright today, so it's got, what do you call it, maximum power. So, solar truck is still working very 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 good actually very impressed with them top quality I must must say and how it actually works is let me just explain to you well all 18 of these panels connected in series gives me about 550 volts or 40 I'm not yeah about that 540 or 550 I can't remember exactly so they're all connected in series so here comes the positive you can see here down the ground in here to my circuit breakers and from that side comes the negative to this circuit breakers all right and as you know my tracker system here okay now actually what I want to show you is this is my pump I'm just gonna just give me a second I'll show you guys just now so the solar panels powers come to this type of inverter you can see here now basically is see I've, yeah DC voltage is about 552 volts and my output current is 5.3 amps at three phase so and my pumps frequency is 50 Hertz and output power is 200 uh, 2855 54 volts all right now that's the amount of power I already saved from running this pump it's about now four days so 245.4 kilowatt hour reduce CO2 emissions is about 166.91 kilograms all right and I have no sensors and no automatic alarms installed that's basically it so as you can see here, um, what this inverter does, it's actually, go, here goes my solar positive and negative, all connected in series. This transforms it into 380 volt AC, uh, this, um, AC current, yes. So there's no batteries. And, okay, down here, and this is, okay, this cable goes here and down here on the ground. I haven't buried this cable just yet. As you can see, it goes to my pump. Right, let me just give you a shot of the solar panel from the back. As you can see. Right, and another research I've done, I'm not sure if it's correct. They say about single axis solar trackers gives you about 30% more effectivity by using conventional fixed stations. Sorry for my English, I'm trying my best here. Yeah. And this is my pump. See? This is not a DC pump, it's a normal AC pump, just plain forward. You buy this at your local hardware store, whatever. So there's no, with this product, there's no special pumps needed, as you just use your normal pump. You can see here, uh, this is my pump specifications. It's, my head is about 2.4 meters, basically 2 point of 24 meters. But it says it actually gives about 2.4 bar. And the amount of water, 2,900 liters per hour. Right, and the motor size is, as you can see here, yeah, let me just focus for you. Hertz is 60 hertz and kilowatt is 3 kilowatt. Oh, As you can see, it's just a normal AC pump driven by solar panels directly connected. Now I'm going to show you the amount of water that it's giving. Let me just show you quickly. I have my sprinklers running now. Uh, let's hope you can see the amount of water that it is giving actually at the moment.
so um, it's actually been running now for two weeks of course not 24 7 it's just I can I've calculated about with this tracker unit about eight, eight hours of sunlight and not your normal typical five so it makes a deep a very big difference now i just show you quickly here how it's work how it's working you see the amount of water that I'm pumping I must say the pump is is not actually used for what do you call it sprinkler systems it's actually used for what do you call a T tape or drip eradication but I don't have a lot the amount of money to install my drip eradication I have to use it on my solar panels so after I've made some little bit money hopefully I can put in my drip eradication but this is the this is how it looks you know, it's not bad for a solar system that cost me a fraction of the money of what of my power company Eskom in South Africa asked me to put on the power so I've worked out I will pay with this system installed about in two years time I would have paid it off if I would be using power so after two years solar panels are rated for 25 years of warranty for maximum power so do the calculations you see it's actually much cheaper to put in your solar panels and you're not what do you call it um, and that was the word but you're not if if a power company shuts down, you're in big trouble. And if you have, if you have crops in, well, you know what it means. The only downside I see to this is that you can't pump during the night. But, um, oh well, you can't win every time. So, but it's better than nothing. You can see I've got 20 sprinklers here, each giving 1,200 liters per hour. So, um, any comments will be appreciated. Um, if you have any question please ask me I will be happy to assist you and if you guys are in America and you would wish, wish to buy uh, the inverter please drop me an email I've got courier system here systems here in South Africa and I actually do this for advertisements so for the other farmers South Africa guys in South Africa please contact me I will be happy to help you thank you for watching my video have a nice day.